What have we done? Where have we come to? America's toast. We can't blame the government. We can't blame anybody but ourselves. There is no time for rest, no pillow for my head. Nowhere to run from this, no way to forget. Around the shadows creep like friends they cover me. Just want to lay me down and finally get some sleep. We carry on through this storm. We are all the very tired soldiers in this war. But we must remember what we're fighting for. Meet me on the battlefield. Even in the darkest night. I will be your sword, your shield, your camouflage. And you will be mine. Echoes of the shots ring out. We may be the first to fall. Everything could stay the same. Or we can change it all. You gonna meet me on the battlefield? We're standing face to face with our own human race. We commit the sins again. And our sons and daughters pay. Our tainted history is playing on repeat. But we could change it if we stand up strong and take the lead. I was younger, I was named a generation unafraid. For our heirs to come, be brave and meet me on the battlefield. Even on those darkest nights, I will be your sword and shield your camouflage, and you will be mine. Echoes of the shots ring out, and yes, we may be the first to fall, but everything could stay the same, or we could change it all. Will you meet me on the battlefield? When all hope is gone, when all hope is gone and man has turned on man, there is only one place left to turn, God. Many may claim they follow God, but in truth they follow their own desires, fame, fortune, and a deep need to be on top and admired by all. We have come to a time when these traits are in the forefront once again. We have been kicked, belittled, insulted, and for the most part told we are not worthy of even making the right choices for our own well-being. For decades, America has been the envy of many countries, the protector of the weak, the salvation of the oppressed, and the glimmer of hope the world over. But that too has come to an end. For thousands of years, God or some form of higher power has been looked upon as the unshaken ruler over the people. Mighty and firm, but merciful and understanding. The only true glimmer of hope that was unwavering and true. So what went wrong? We must first look at history for the answer. In the beginning, as man grew stronger and more witty, man would become complacent and reckless in his life, making his own downfall inevitable and certain. As this downfall began to surface and the end could be seen, the evil in some would pounce to seize control of the confused and bewildered by claiming they are the only one that can comfort and right their wrongs. In this time many would fall victim as they were content in their way and would gladly allow another to carry their burden 
as others were turned to God, allowing their faith to be the guide in writing the burden that they had allowed to overcome their lives. But in time it became clear to those that put faith in man that man was making wrong that which was right and enslaving that which was free. When man had only himself to rely on, he would revolt. He would revolt against the oppressor to restore that which was lost. But this passion too would also subside as the wrongs were righted and again complacency would enter in to take its place. Even those that put their faith in God would succumb to the newfound prosperity and would become complacent once more. And so the cycle would again repeat itself. Even as this cycle kept repeating over and over again, many remained true to their faith and looked to God or whatever higher power they deemed to be the purpose of their being but again would allow complacency to enter in and replace which they would overlook or ignore. To put this cycle into our world of today, we need look no further than the early 1900s when man allowed prosperity and their leaders to go completely unchecked, leading to the total collapse of every world economy creating the confusion and disparity of our societies. This was the time of the New Deal, which was bigger government leading to the loss of control over your own life. Agency after agency sprung forth seizing power over private business private lands, as well as your money that was funneled into the evil that was our leaders. Even as time went on and many saw what was coming to pass, security in handouts and words of deception kept the people accepting this new control. But still again, many kept a deep faith in God for the only means of hope left in their lives. The problem was that man did not hold their leaders accountable, and they continued to accumulate more and more of our freedom through what is known as social engineering. This is where the root of our troubles lie. In knowing farewell, Americans would not accept full government communism, so to say. They needed to make the people think things were fine when in fact they were not. In, in the name of the common good, some were made to pay the way of others that believed they deserved what they had not earned, as well as the new deficit spending and accumulated debt that came along with it. This was put to the people as the way things are done in the new modern world, and people accepted it. This was later found to be what is called the Progressive Hundred Year Plan. That began in 1913 through 14, and has now come to its end. Over the hundred years, self-supporting, self-sufficiency, Self-accountability, self-reliability was replaced with dependency and defended through shaming and bullying of those that dared to speak out against the wrongs that they could clearly see, even to the point of violent attacks by those receiving what they had not earned. That part was easy. They created a hardship and then convinced the needy that the ones paying for it were, the, were at fault over greed and a lack of human compassion for the needy, while convincing many that dependency and socialism was the only way of life. This is the mindset 
we see in today's society. Government has created a population of power-hungry control freaks whose ego demands you bow down to them, while others are content with handouts deemed it's their right, and it should be paid for by the greedy. One other major change that was needed was to pick away at people's faith in God. This was done by schools and the forcing of evolution, not creation, as well as using anger and angry and hateful people, again to shame, attack, and belittle any that kept their deep-rooted faith, to at which point they too would change our churches to one of man and not of God, under the threats of massive taxation or persecution of any that did not comply with what regulations God had forced upon them. So as of today, our churches are immoral, ungodly, and meaningless with little or no faith in God. In conclusion, I can say there is no hope in turning the country back or any country in the world for that matter. People refuse to stand up for what is right. The pounding many have taken for so long has come to a point where they have been emboldened through technology as a means to treat others as they have been treated in the past by the very evil that has taken over our world. I have seen in the past 10 years people attacking people over the very ones that have caused our downfall. People that were once seen as friends are now enemies out to destroy each other because they too think they deserve everything to be the way they want it. And you need to follow them as they have blindly followed the evil. So yes, there is no help for America or the world for that matter. For as it was written so many years ago, when Jesus was asked, how will we know the end has come? Jesus replied, none will know the time of my return or when this will come to pass. But when man is fighting man, nation is fighting nation, kingdom is fighting kingdom, you will know the end is near. So stay true to thy father and keep your faith in me for those that do keep true will be rewarded with the promise the father has given. I will not lie, nor do I fear what some will think of me. I have no hope for this world to change, but know by keeping my faith true, my hope lies with the Lord Jesus Christ and that only man has let us all down and will continue to do so until the end. So God bless all and I pray all that hear this will make it right with God and forgive those that have crossed them as well as repent for all they have crossed.